Computer, take a memo to Admiral Henson, Navy Headquarters for FTL Transmission. Ma'am, this is Clay on the Dreadnought. We have spent the last week on patrol in this cluster, and up to this point we have seen no evidence of the unidentified shipping you described in your report. Furthermore, I must register Sir, my... we're getting a coded transmission on a secure channel. It's the Harvard. She's under attack. Looks like she's encountered a small indie fleet. Signal the Harvard. We're on our way. Damn! Attention! Enemy shipping! This is Captain Mishima of the Commonwealth vessel Harvard. This is your final warning. Emergency power coming on stream now, sir. Good. Status? Message coming in, sir. This is Quartermaster Macduff of the independent vessel Indecent Proposal. You will surrender your vessel to us. Your ship has been commandeered by the independent Navy. Offer no resistance and no one will be harmed. Go to hell. All hands, now hear this. To prevent this ship falling to the enemy, we are scuttling her. Prepare for emergency evacuation. All hands, evac station. That would be a very dangerous move, Captain Mishima. Are you absolutely sure you wouldn't like to reconsider? What's their position? Ten million kilometers in closing. They're right by the Lagrange point. Two ships moving in to intercept us. Okay, gunner, missile slow mode, target on bogey A, launch on my mark. Mark. Helm, ready with 180 pitch. Now! Fire! Second Indy coming about. Now. Status on the Harvard? The Harvard and the Indies have gone. I think they've taken her. Admiralty's not gonna be happy about this. Worsening conditions in Bangladesh are proving too much for government aid operatives as the oceanic rise continues. As Governor Ledbetter was making the announcement, All right. power outages in the downtown area. Commander Briscoe, wouldn't you say that the latest loss of a Navy ship to the pirates I represents sick. extreme incompetence on behalf of the Navy? Oh. <clears throat> Where is she? Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for Admiral Hansen's absence. She got caught in a power outage coming down from the orbital, and of course the storm made... Does anyone else here find it surprising that a woman with more than 3,000 spaceships at her disposal should find it so difficult getting to a meeting on time? <laughs> <coughs> I'll get right to it. These figures are not pleasant reading. Successful piracy attacks are going through the roof. We've lost ten shipments of neutronium headed for Earth this week alone. We've also lost four Navy vessels in the last month. One destroyed and three captured by the Indies. Frankly, our current attempts to contain the situation are failing. Thank you, Admiral Brett. Any responses? In the press get to hear of this, with all respect. To hell with the press, John. Just in A zone, we have four billion to feed. We need those shipments. If we can only trim the military budget. What? And have the Indies walk all over us some more? We're not dealing with some band of gun-happy pirates. We've been fighting a guerrilla war out there for the, the last 50 years. If we need to do anything, we need to strengthen the fleet. I am adjourning this meeting. I think we all need to look at this data a little more closely. Meeting adjourned. Oh.
Admiral Brett? Yes, Mr. Mr. President? I'd like a word. Bridge pointing a five terawatt cannon through the bridge viewport. <laughs> what happened next? Captain Mishima stood proudly on his bridge in his starched navy uniform. And believe you me, he was ready to blow the ship. But when he looked up and saw that cannon, he realized he was looking death itself right in the eye. And he had a sudden change of heart. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at her. Aye, she's going to be a very useful ship. And she'll be ready in time for the assault. As long as our mysterious friends keep their part of the bargain and deliver the spider. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? And so much nicer for a spot of color. Since Admiral Hanson will not be joining us, I thought you might be interested in this report. If our sources are correct, the Indies are planning their most significant attack in years. They have selected a target which would hurt us immeasurably. Which is? The Ptoleman Jump Point at Alpha Centauri. They plan to block the most strategically vital junction point in known space. Block it? How? I'll... I'll recall the fleet. We can... No. If we send in the fleet, there won't be an attack. We'll just lose our informants. No, this needs something. Someone special. Someone we can use without raising suspicion. I'll get on to it. We can have the most decorated officers in known space. Listen, and listen well, my friend. We don't need decorated. We don't need senior, well-educated or well-connected. This is a war. What we need are results. Now, tell me, which serving officer has had the most kills? Hmm. I'll just... Clay Jefferson H. Captain Dreadnought CNV-301. Kill total 151. Confirmed. Jefferson Clay, eh? Send him on a patrol mission to the Ptoleman jump point. Can we trust him? He has a reputation as a dangerous man. Good. We need a dangerous man. Okay, people, listen up. I know this mission was at short notice, so let's all be careful, okay? Let's see what treats we have in store for today. Captain, a serious situation is developing. You should get underway at once. As you are well aware, since the discovery of the capsule drive, all interstellar missions have to take place to and from Lagrange points. All of known space is connected by the interstellar linkages formed between Lagrange jump points. But the Ptoleman points in Alpha Centauri space are more crucial than the rest, lying at the very center of the known space network. You should proceed at best speed to the Ptoleman point A.
My information suggests some kind of attack on the point itself is imminent. But as to what that attack involves, your guess is as good as mine. Just in case, we have a 10-ship backup squadron on standby if you FTL for assistance. This just sounds better and better. Your mission orders are patrol the target area and report back. If you engage any hostiles, call in the backup fleet. This is Admiral Brett terminating this briefing document. Well, you heard the man. Let's scan for hostiles. Scanning now. Found one. Low thermal trace, 2,000 Ks. Probably a tug. Puffin class. Okay, let's move to engage. Sir? Did we call for backup? The jump point sense is going crazy. I'm getting a number of major contacts. FTO for backup. Now! All ships, Dreadnought has signaled for assistance. Let's move it, people. Sir? If that's what I think it is... They're trying to block the point. FTO the backup squadron. Send an abort code. Too late. Hell. If those ships come out of jump space into a blocked point, we are gonna see those ships smeared all over the city. Attack pattern B3. No, no, climb! That's it. Hold position here. Match velocities with the destroyer. Now! Full burn for the blocker! And so that is the story of how Jefferson Clay died. He gave up his life to save more than 1,500 of his fellow officers. He was the greatest hero in the history of space warfare, a role model, a legend. He made a difference by inspiring a whole generation of young officers. But of course it wasn't until five years later that Clay got the chance to figure out what was really going on. <laughs>